All right, all right, all right. It is time to rebuild the Memphis Grizzlies, one of the most controversial, drama-filled, up-and-down teams in the league this season. Job Morant obviously had like a multitude of allegations pop up from last summer where he supposedly two-pieced like a 16-year-old. You know, that's a joke also and an exaggeration, but kind of the truth. Then went on like a spiritual retweet for two months because he was listening to too much NBA Young Boy. Jaron Jackson came back from injury and was pretty well, did pretty well. Desmond Bain in his short wingspan was great the whole season, although he also got injured at one point. Steven Adams did miss that first round series against the Lakers and Dylan Brooks, of course, the villain that isn't villainous. As I described a few minutes ago in this tweet, he feels like the test dummy villain that they placed in the first 10 minutes of the movie just showed that the hero still got it. One of the worst NBA villains of the last few years, although it's still entertaining. And he also ducked the media the last two games that he played and Kenny Loft and Big Body So, the 40-point man. That is the Memphis Grizzlies who just lost 4-2 to to the Lakers in the, in the first round. You can't say the loss came without road bumps, but it was, I don't know. But that being said, the draft lottery, obviously they don't have any picks up here, but nonetheless, you gotta simulate it. Oh, okay, th their coach expired. I could sign a new dude. Hey, Greg Popovich, I will always offer you. Maybe you can get this team. Wow, he never mind. Look at the interest meter. It's not even close to full. I thought this said Dennis Rodman. I'm going to offer a contract to Otis Newman. Will he sign? He does. Welcome to the team. But as you probably know, they got smoked by Mr. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and um, don't mind Chris Paul. I, they traded for him. They traded D'Angelo Russell for him. I respect the Grizzlies for being a top seed the past few years, but the thing that I get confused with them a little bit sometimes is that they have to play like a weird, unorthodox brand of basketball. Ja obviously literally just throws himself at the rim very often to get a lot of his points. Jaron Jackson Jr. has a half of the time, like his jump shot is ugly. You're never convinced that he's actually going to do anything, even though he does. And of course, he's a fantastic defender. I, I'm not taking that away. Desmond Brain's pretty cool. And Dylan Brooks is Mr. 39% from the field on 15 shot attempts per game type of guy. But I want to make this team in this simulation, well, this rebuild a more like surefire team, you know, like a more convincing. You, you look at the playoffs, like when we came into the playoffs, Lakers fans were convinced 1000%. If they're playing the Suns, I don't think it would have been the same. If they're playing the Nuggets, I don't maybe little bit but you know and also shout out to the lakers nice to see you guys getting back past the second round you know i mean past the first round sorry obviously the last time they did that is when they won the ring i feel like a more mid-tier pick would be fitting for the grizzlies to get right now i expect this team to still be good next year so i'm gonna trade john conchar for the 17th pick with our next year's pick and also get a miami lottery protected one which hopefully will convey into a non-lottery protected the next year hopefully they fall off by 2026 the trade i'm currently trying to make so here's the thing right obviously the biggest weakness of this team starting five which also i will say they do have bench depth issues but we could just address those in the offseason in free agency i should say but um it's obviously the small forward shooting guard position right you know wherever dylan brooks is just replacing him og and Anobi, the raptors might be entering the chopping block they just fired nick nurse they might be going into rebuild mode with just scotty barnes and nobody else honestly og and Anobi is a very very valuable coveted asset whatever I, i'm not gonna overpay for him but whatever i could get him for you know because he's not even the craziest player in 2k but i'll update his shot tendencies and see if he could cook i'll give you guys these three scrubs right here Come on. And after that, you could have the uh, Grizzlies 2027 first. There it is. Perfect. OG Ananobi, welcome to the team. Welcome to the Memphis Grizzlies. Back to small forward. I'm pretty sure they were trying to get either him or Mikhail Bridges. And we've seen the value that Mikhail has established over there in uh, Brooklyn now. So I don't know if it would necessarily be, uh, you know, accurate if we traded for him. Obviously, Ja needs the lion's share of actual touches. But I do want Jaron Jackson, Desmond Bain, and OG getting a lot of them, though. So they're all going to get 85 shot tendency, which is funny because Dylan Brooks actually has that already. I kinda, can I be honest with you? I might keep dylan brooks oh there goes victor utah yeah i might keep dylan brooks i know um just for the challenge for it brandon miller number one in every mock draft yeah buddy you're lying to yourself don't do that it's not good for you all right i'm gonna simulate to our 17th pick and jordan wall you know i'll take a shot at jalen hood because it'll make Ja feel validated for our next pick i'll take ray john rupert since i was thinking of taking him with actually wait, jet howard's still here you know what give me ray john i don't know if i've ever drafted this dude give me this draft and stash dude with our last pick why not 75 and 73 not terrible for those late picks why do they want me to get rid of kenny lofton what do they look like? I have no morals or something. I, I won't lie. We're probably not going to have any money in free agents anyways, because I did trade. Dang, does Desmond Baines deal? Or no, is he on team options still? Yeah, he's pretty young. I did trade for OG, who costed way more than the three players I traded for him. But his value should go down next season, knowing the 2K contracts that I got. With that being said, keep Kenny Lofton. That's the culture right there. Ah, yes, we have bird rights for Dylan Brooks and Dylan Brooks only. And he's going to be the best player that we could even afford in free agency. Crazy thing is, with the only position we need is an OG and an OB backup. You know what I'm going to do? Welcome back, Mr. Brooks. Yep. Hey, buddy, maybe you can become a real villain down the line i'm signing you okay five is kind of crazy four-year deal wait no no don't do that four-year deal with a team option yeah don't don't get too ahead of yourself now everyone on this team is pretty young the oldest player is 29 year old steven adams so i don't gotta worry about age too much and dylan's gonna be our 15th player so i have nothing else to do in free agency so get the hell out of here jaws a 96 overall in his first player progression period and adams did go down by three so we're gonna have to keep eye on that 
keep an eye on that, I guess. I do think that'd be the next upgrade for this team is getting a more elite big man alongside Jaron Jackson. But so far, as I adjust some of this garbage, it, this feels like one of the more realistic rebuilds I've done yet uh, 10 minutes in, at least on my end. I saw that video of Kyrie dapping up LeBron courtside at the Lakers game today. It'd be hilarious if that man signed with the Lakers after the Mavericks traded all that stuff for him. John Morant's an all-star starter. I don't know if we get anybody else here, but hey, we are the second best in the league right after the Lakers, or at least in the in the conference. And also, oh, third best in the league. Cavaliers are elite. I forgot I still have injuries on uh, auto substitution, whatever, which means that I have not been adjusting any of this stuff. And Tyus Jones is current. Oh my God. Tyus Jones ruptured his Achilles? He ruptured it in December. So who's been his replacement? This dude, uh, well, uh, Luke Kennard. Uh, Luke Kennard should be in the rotation anyways, though, to be fair. Wait, who's going to play point guard, though? Ja is probably tired as hell. I got to... Okay, yeah, no, that's the trade I got to make right now because that's bad. I'm not about to have point Dylan Brooks off the bench. Desmond Bing is averaging 24. Jaron's averaging almost 20. And OG's averaging 15. Perfect. That's what we need from you, all of you. And, and Desmond, probably with the best of them in terms of three-point percentage right now. In the simulation last season, Ja averaged 31 points, seven rebounds, and nine assists. This season, he's averaging three more assists, which is good. It shows that, you know, we got a little bit of pressure relieved off of him and he's becoming a little more of a facilitator and all that. That is a bad loss, though, uh, Tyus Jones. Oh, hold on, actually. Jalen Hood, he got point guard in his shot card and, he, and he's a pretty solid passer. Just add him to rotation. Get him in get him in the mix. Matter of fact, he gets better at point guard. He is supposed to be a point guard. Perfect. You feel more of a need than I thought you would. OJ and OB says he'll test free agency. Uh, Xavier Tillman refuses to resign. What the hell? What did I do to you? You were a second round pick too. He's not going to be restricted. I'm ready for my time with the Grizzlies to come to an end. I'm content with that. I mean, at least he's not too pissed. Luke Kennard is lit with the way things are going right now. I know Ronnie 2K wrote that in there. Hey, Luke Kennard wants to resign. He's not a perfect player, but I'm down to give him a two-year minimum extension. His team option is 15 million anyways, so anything's better than that. Oh, and Desmond Bain. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Short him a little bit on the money, but uh, there you go. Four-year deal. He's back. We'll deal with OG and Xavier Tillman when the time comes. If we got to get rid of Xavier, I rock with him too much. I don't want to get rid of him right now. John Morant has won MVP. I guess putting the right team around him. He wins most viable player for the first time in his young career, shooting 50, 80, 50 40 80 very high in the 50s at 57 percent victor rookie of the year ben simmons six man Giannis dpoi davion mitchell most improved and jb bickerstaff coach of the year with the cap jaron made all defensive second team after victor and joel mb actually i guess Giannis because he's a forward also luca making all defensive first team is always crazy i swear to god i was even watching luca's interview with jj reddick once and he's like yeah I'm, I'm not very good at that. the second seed still behind the lakers they had five more wins than us everybody that can be healthy is currently healthy tyus jones is you know cause they could have updated though let me see yeah look it says two to four weeks now he could actually come back i personally don't change the slide or anything for injuries and i think they just make it that players come back way sooner than they should first round against houston you should know is on that team you know oh uh, steven adams he'll be all right don't worry he's already back there you go jalen green and them we sweep them they also got email doka now the nuggets i don't know who their shooting guard's supposed to be i guess i'm drawing a crazy blank but i did just see that they have walker kessler i don't know how they got him i don't know why they would need him let me see Jokic just rest more of the season they they traded terry rozier who i also didn't know they had for walker kessler we have some decent big men ourselves. I don't know about Jokic what level, but a hey, first round, we uh, first game we win. Oh, he got the flu. Hopefully he's all right. Okay, up 3-0 and 4-1. Conference finals rematch against the Lakers. Oh, Tyus Jones is back. How's Jalen Hood been playing though? He been playing good? No, honestly. So that's good. You know, I think they might have like a hidden setting that that young players get worse in the playoffs because some uh, very often they do. Maybe especially in like limited time, like less offensive consistency or something. I don't know. We breeze through the first two rounds, but we're finally playing a team that's actually better than us. LeBron, Chris Paul. Paul, Malik Muck, AAD, and Jared Vanderbilt. First game goes to us. Second game goes to us. Third game to them. Fourth game to them. All right, we're starting to get to the nitty gritty. Wait, what just happened to Jared Jackson? Oh, no. Come on, dog. You grew up a fan of a Grizzlies. No, you didn't. Don't lie. Twisted left knee. That is so... That's terrible. Oh, Santi Aldama. Is he going to be guard... What happened to Steven Adams? Oh, he's just on the bench. Oh, wow. That's it. Santi Aldama is going to be guarding AD. Is he even good at defense? We don't even have another option, really. Hell no. He is awful. Actually, no, I lied. I lied. Actually, um, AD is at center and jared vanderbilt set the four it's the tillman versus ad rematch again but i feel like we're gonna miss jared yeah yeah we're, we're missing that man uh we miss jared jackson a lot luke Kennard, i'm happy i resigned you had a great game in this one but xavier tillman shot four for 12 steven adams had more rebounds and way less minutes sandy aldama was awful i'm not making exec some executive coaching decisions here tillman was not trash but he you know he wasn't center worthy plus he's six seven my god get adams in there over uh over what's his name aldama throw his minutes down pretty far right now he's playing mid 
bad. Do or die. So, Jai, you're going to be playing 40, Desmond Bain, OG, and then give the rest to uh, Steven Adams. They come more for Abdama as well. Yeah, throw them all there. They, they, this, this should work. This should work. That's ideal. How you get a sore right knee in practice, Steven Adams? My God. You are so old. We are cooking, though. We are cooking in this game. A beautiful game from the MVP and the Grizzlies. And actually, Desmond Bain was the one to really carry us. But the big three, as of right now, OG, John Moran, and uh, Desmond Bain cooked the entire the entire game. And Jeremy Grant, who I don't even know was on the Lakers, was the one who took the most shots, and he was not cooking. We're in a relatively close game seven against the Lakers, but I think we got it. We did it. John Morant is the Western Conference Finals MVP, and we are going up against the league-leading Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron, our revenge tour has worked, and they, Jared Allen is injured right now, so it is kind of even, not really. Jaron Jackson only got like one more day of injury. He might even be back before the season, the series starts. Jared Allen is out for the season, so we got that advantage. Uh, you know, I'll take it. Whatever. Just a video game. Take it what I can. Still keep Tillman in the, the starting lineup with Adams for now. Unless they tell me Jaron Jackson. Nope, he's not back. All right, we'll have to deal with it for now. Hey, a ring first year would be pretty elite with very minimal moves. But maybe it's not possible. I don't know. We got smoked in the last few minutes of the fourth quarter. Donovan scores 35 points on us. We do have some good defenders. I don't know what else to really, uh, you know, do, do about that. And uh, is, is Jer there he is. Jaron Jackson's back. The guard up against Evan Mobley. And we cooked them in the next game. 20 plus point win. Ja had 39 and 14 and near triple double. And Donovan had 41 and a loss. Another loss, though, we go down 2-1. The Mitchell and Garland backcourt was too much. I think they've had the lead almost the whole game in this one, but there's 141 left. We hit a three. Tied game, 111 left. Let's go. Here we go. A core win to Garland. Garland got an injury. I didn't even know. To prevent them from going up 3-1 in the series. And I don't, they, you know, they came back from one of those last time. And oh my, Garland gets fouled on a jump shot by Tillman. Xavier just been playing a little odd, man. Why are you pissed off at the team? Why are you fouling jump shooters? Tyus Jones at the one. What the hell? John Morant got subbed out? All right, don't panic now. I mean, I am the coach. You know what? I am the coach. Sub back in John Morant. What the hell? I'm everything for this team, except for the player. All right, Tyus Jones up the other way. 17 seconds left. Down to Jaron Jackson. Jaron against Mobley. He takes the hook, and it is good. Good shot by Mobley. There you go. Ja, get back in the game. Come on, Ja. Show him the free hollows, please. Pass down Mobley around the basket. Back out to Coro. Back out to Mitchell. Back down to Coro, and the dunk is good. They got a two-point lead with 33 seconds left. Screen on the right side. John Morant goes all the way to the basket. He steps back over Mobley, and he misses the shot. We foul Precious Achua. Not gonna lie with the number five and everything. I thought this was Kevon Looney a few minutes ago. The first shot is green, and the second shot is green. Down by four, 16 seconds left. Job ja brings it up on his own accord. He goes all the way. He passes it out to OG for three. It's off, and that is gonna do it. Ja had 39 and 10. Dylan Rooks had 15 and 21 minutes. Desmond Bain had a bad game. That, that's the one guy. But they had Dayron Sharp shoot five for 15 for some reason. Six for 18 from Garland, and we still lost this one. Down 3-1, I threw out a do or die lineup out there, and they did without dying. Another win. Oh, Bain suffered a hyperextended knee, but he, but he's but he has the yellow symbol. What do you mean out for the season? He's an 83. He's still better than everybody else. He can play. Look, he can still shoot. He can still shoot and he can't lay up, but just don't go to the basket. Oh my God. His speed is a 40. Hey, I don't care. He's got to play. He just has to play. That man is out there running like a, the one player I'd always see is uh, Tobias Harris. I think would always have a really bad speed in 2K, no matter what year it was. I can go check him right now. Probably Jaron Jackson was, oh my God, 46 from Jaron Jackson. Hey, Dylan Desmond Bain got eight rebounds, even though his rebounds went down with his injury we are cooking right now oh wait we won i did not oh we won oh yo that is the most genuine reaction to a win i've ever had because i i forgot that i did not what we won jaron jackson you will be here for eternity 46 in game seven against mobley mobley you frying out these last few months dog what's going on three for 14 and you got 40 dropped on it? oh my god oh man that's not a good look for the brand and desmond Bain, once again shout out to you look at this this man stats got cooked Speed down to a 55 it might even it might have even been lower but it's been like a day now and dylan brooks had a solid game xavier tillman got 13 more i'm very proud of this team right now especially jaron jackson though my god and he, he should win he didn't win finals MVP, did he oh Melo retired chris paul's out of here and hey, we sent chris paul to retirement no that's crazy chris paul might have a ring right now if we didn't win that game seven did we have back-to-back -back game sevens right i don't know it's something like that everything in the league meetings was rejected draft lottery any good picks that we stole no, i don't look like it Get the 17th pick for golden state Apart from that it would dollar trade like mad years ago or not i don't know no, i cannot draft ian jackson anymore i've been drafting them 
that way too much recently, man. Just the 17th pick. That might be just fine, honestly. I do think it might be time for Steven, but I, I think I'm gonna just keep Steven Adams around for the hell of it. I don't know though. He is making 12 million, but we're not gonna have money in free agency anyways. So I'll just keep him around for the hell of it. But the culture. What's crazy is Desmond May was still faster than what Steven Adams normally is. With all due respect, Aldama is also, he's probably done for. I mean, I might accept his team option, but I'm gonna trade him. He disappointed me this season. Got the first time coach Otis Newman. He cooked. Dang, the Knicks got the first pick. They draft Zachary. It might have been from Dallas. I don't know. Maybe not. You know what? They tell me that Kyle Filipowski is the best rated player right now. I'm gonna take him. And, and also, he's very highly scouted because actually, I could just check what he's good at. Oh, this might be perfect. Is he a good stretch big? Yep. Yep, he is. With decent defense and some probably decent rebounding. Yeah, good, good, good. This is our draft pick. He'll probably replace Steven Adams soon once one of these years. This is our Euro stash dude from last year. I'll sign him to a two way deal. Why not? Never mind. It won't let me. See ya. For real, buddy. Oh, yeah. OG and OB declined his option. Tell me to decline Santi Aldama. Honestly, I will. I will. It's been real, but you, you're not that good. And I like him. I like his game in real life. That's what, But like, he's just not playing well in the game. Oh, hold on. They're saying we have enough money for DeRozan. Just off the bench. Like, I mean, he averaged 22 last season. If we could possibly sign OG and DeRozan, that would be a perfect two players to sign in free agency for us right now. Also, Tillman was lying. He is fully down to accept the extension. So that's good to know. And Tyus Jones in here too. And of course, Kenny Lofton. We need him back. I will offer DeRozan a two-year deal with a team option. DeMar, come to the team, buddy. I don't even know if it'll let me sign you, but I'm trying it. Tyus Jones there severely undervaluing uh, undervaluing you. Five-year deal for chump change. DeMar has accepted. I'll see if it actually works out or not. I think it did. DeMar DeRozan is here. Wow, I am entirely surprised. It'll probably get, end up being a bad value deal by next year, but for now, it worked. He's going to be a new backup shooting guard back to his original position, which moves uh, probably Luke Kennard out the rotation. And I believe he played he played a little, a little while with OG. Yeah, he's back with OG. Probably played two years with him. Did OG really get drafted? Am I old? Did OG get drafted 2016? Oh, no, it was 17. Okay. Honestly, out of what's available right now, I'm taking Santi Aldama over all these other guys. I know he's a little bit on the negative side last year, but I'd rather him. Give me him for a three-year deal. It's a very tradable deal. We could always move it. Offer some two-way deals so we make some young players pissed off for absolutely no reason. We'll never need them. And that is our 15-man roster. Dang, DeRosa went down to a 79. But hey, you're still DeMar, though. You got the DeMar tendencies and all that. I'm not worried about it. Sometimes you got to take risks. Jaws up to a 97 and Jaren's a 90. I did kind of forget to get a uh, Steven Adams replacement. I forgot he was going to go down this much, but uh, hopefully Kyle's ready to replace him soon. I'm probably going to make a trade, actually. I'll just do it right now. Screw it. Zaire Williams is already coming up as another shooting guard in the rotation. We could trade Luke Kennard out of here. I did not realize extending him was going to accept this 15 million player option. Wow, I did not know I was paying him 15 million right now. This is nearly a perfect trade. I would love to have Zubots. Can we not give up two first round picks though? Okay, perfect. Per uh, yo, they, they accepted uh, next year's first and two seconds. That's all. The hey, that's good. Zubots will be our new backup center. The whole rotation is set absolutely perfectly. These are number two, the countdown. Yeah, I see a lot of Cavaliers in the. I see Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, Darius Garland down. But hey, we smoked them in the finals. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Jared Allen was injured the whole time. I'm not stupid now. I think we just have John ja Morant. No, I don't see Jaron Jackson or anybody else. 36 and 16. Now, this season we're worse than the Rockets. Ooh, I want to see if they made any sort of free agency acquisition outside of, uh, yeah, no, not really. Maybe D'Angelo Russell, not really anything beside that. They were the seed that we smoked last year, so them being the number one seed is very surprising. I mean, not surprising, but like compared to last season. In 2K terms, I'm used to them doing that type of stuff. And what happened to Xavier Tillman? How you get injured just now? Day to day? So, okay, buddy. I feel like we're around the time where Jaws need an extension. Well, actually, no, I guess not because he already got one. Jaron Jackson, three-year deal. Go ahead and accept that for me. Zubots, three-year deal. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we just traded for you. You could uh want a four-year contract, maybe? No, I, I, I'll pay him that money. Hopefully, he could be the, the center of the future, kind of. He fits the Adams build, and that kind of build already just won us a ring, even though he wasn't starting. Ja, yo, it is crazy how much more valuable Ja is than anybody else on this team. If we lose him at any point in the playoffs, it's over. Season over. Damar isn't as value as I, uh, valuable as I would have wanted him to be, but we already won the ring last year, so it's not like it's anything too bad. The only negative player is Dylan Brooks. We'll deal with that, though. He's got to stick around to be uh, stupid. Also going to run a 11-man rotation, maybe even 12 for the rest of the season, just to fend off any potential injuries. As John ja Morant, well, he's in the MVP race, but he's probably not going to win it. So we'll just give up on that for now. Sorry, Ja. Yep, I'm not too surprised at this. Darius Garland won MVP. Matez Buzelis wins Rookie of the Year. Taylor Hendricks, Sixth Man of the Year. Chad Holmgren, DPOY. Taylor Hendricks, Most Improved. And Coach of the Year, 71 win Cavaliers. Ja makes the All-NBA second team. It is nice to have a player playing that well. And Jaron on the all defensive yet again behind Victor and Giannis. I don't know if Giannis was there last year. Maybe he was. We're the second seed behind the Rockets and also, my God, like 15 games behind the uh, the Cavaliers and also behind the Hawks. Trey Young. They have done a pretty solid job of uh, reconstructing their roster. Yusuf Nurkic is uh, playing center for them now. He's not really a lob threat 
though, but let's be on. Oh my God, they have Kyle Kuzma and Fred Van Bleed off the bench. Hey, it's a competitive league out here. I respect it. They have literally perfectly constructed their bench. It's crazy because I thought we were making like a crazy chess move by getting DeMar. I mean, he's good, but he's only our fourth best player on our bench. And Jared Allen is not injured this season. So I, I don't know how, how many games did he miss last year? Oh, oh wow. He got injured in the playoffs. So yeah, they really got screwed over. First round against Sacramento. We take the... Oh, actually, wait, hold on, hold on. It worked for us last year. I won't deviate too far from the path. Zaire Williams is very cold. Let's run a 10-man 10, 10 rotation. Don't be too crazy now. Honestly, I'm tempted to run a nightmare. Maybe in like dire need times. Also, why is why is OG on the bench? Chill out with that. Wow, we lost another game to the Kings. Another game to the King. Davion Mitchell and De'Aaron Fox smoking us. And we came back from 3-1 in the finals, right? Why couldn't we do it here? Holy hell. Okay, we won another game. Ja Morant, 28-12. and 12. I've seen a lot of arguments about a Ja versus De'Aaron Fox in this postseason. You know, people talking about their matchup. I mean, if people are talking about what they value in De'Aaron and like valuing it so highly as we are maybe about to Okay, 44 seconds left. I know it's the first round, but it's game seven, a 3-1 comeback. And hey, we're about to see that matchup that I'm talking about right now. Matchup against each other, so it's perfect time to talk about it. The things that people are... I know De'Aaron's brought it to a different level of productivity this season, but the things that people are talking about, oh yeah, they value De'Aaron more for his shot making and this, that, the other. Like, you could have been valued that more as Ja pulls up and misses some garbage with 34 seconds left. At least we didn't give them the last shot, to be fair. But either way, I mean, I, I never really viewed it as like a crazy gap in between a guys like like i don't know why deer and fox oh my god as he pulls up and hits a, a, exactly the same shot almost a little bit more poised though i don't know why they became this narrative that deer and fox just wasn't good like last year or two years ago and also that tyrese was unanimously better i feel like he still might be hold on jama right to the basket layup is good the tough layup they're gonna take their last time out me personally still to this day i just felt like they could have got demonte sabonis without trading tyrese halliburton like i felt like they could have traded maybe three other players on their roster rather than him like a package of three players instead of just tyrese Tyrese and Buddy healed, if that makes any sense. But hey, they got what they got, and it's working pretty well for them so far, although they do have to play game seven against the Warriors. I don't know if that'll occur before this video comes out. Screen on the left side, and Smith Jr. goes to the basket. His layup, tough layup. He hits it with 0.8 seconds left to potentially send us home. Let's see if we got anything left in us. 0.8 seconds to potentially tie it or win it. Will we get a good shot at all? I don't know. The pass into Desmond Bain from half court, and it is off, and we have lost in game seven after the 3-1 comeback to the king and your grizzlies have went from nba champions to heading home in the first round off of nothing in this game specifically i mean desmond main underplayed a little bit but i can't say anybody was too awful we had nobody above i want to say what is this seven six rebounds and our leading rebounds were bane and ananobi while onyeka okongu had 15 rebounds and mitchell robinson at seven so we did get pretty cooked in the uh in the rebounds category at least it seemed but no actually we were tied in defensive just got out rebounded on offense which makes sense i guess i mean it was a close loss this isn't going to be the deciding factor but this shouldn't have been as close as the series as it was and in the finals it is going to be Shea versus Evan Mobley in the Cavs and Darius Garland with finals MVP in the Cavs get their ring very disappointing season what's crazy is every single player on our team had a positive estimated wins in the playoffs except for uh, Zaire who doesn't even really play my goal this offseason after getting smoked like that make moves that'll make us undoubtedly like a top tier team because it seems like there's some other teams that are you know starting to really take over uh, they want to approve our all-star game rules i do not care about all-star game rules any picks that we finesse i don't see any grizzlies sadly we got the 15th pick for miami that's i think it was a uh, lottery protected this year that's kind of funny that we got they were 15 jesus the raptors really did go into rebuild mode my god i just saw them offering up their sixth pick and also oh my god their entire team expired except for Nas Reed, who they're offering in this trade i'm not even gonna take the trade at least i don't think i am but jesus they still got david roddy from us and he is their second best player at 77 i am so surprised they weren't the worst team in the league that is an egregious team Nas Reed is their second best player actually you know what just to truly troll them can i give you guys back demar Derozan for the sixth pick are they trying to trade Nas Reed too i will take i rock with Nas Reed. you could take santi aldama take this 27th pick or okay i'll take the fi the 15th pick there you go dang oh my wait how much did zion miss of last season 57 games he played and he didn't play 82 the year before he played 57 games right but here's the thing they now have the second and third picks from the bucks with the yon with the drew holiday trade and their own that is just crazy to me hey you know what i was trying to get the pick number six for DeRozan, but of course the magic gonna be the team to budge and why are they why would they be like oh yeah we'll actually we'll take jaron jackson but you could also just give us the martyr yeah obviously i'm gonna give you demar Derozan. all right there you go we now have the seventh pick i feel like these two picks could be like big time for the future also santi aldama you gotta get the step in dog any issues with this team gotta be resolved i felt like 
Valley, we could, you know what I'm saying, play, play it safe and get the same team and everything and coast back to the finals. But we didn't, not even close. I would trade him for two Cavaliers picks, but well, that would be stupid. You know what? I'll take these two. Uh, Wait, is Victor on the Spurs by any chance? No, and they're pretty bad. Yeah, I'll take this Hawks trade. You could have Santi Aldama for two first. There you go. Enjoy it. Dang, but they actually, they're pretty good. So I just give them more depth. Well, 2025 NBA draft, the seventh pick is ours. And who will we get? Yeah, Isaiah Elohim. I think I maybe drafted you once before, but you're the easy pick here. He's the only dude with a Hall of Fame ceiling. He's also a top three overall guy or top one, maybe. And we just traded DeRozan and he was a shooting guard. So this works. He'll just fill his role. I'm going to take this dude, Carter Knox, with the next pick, the 15th pick. He might not be too great, but whatever. Pretty sure it's Kevin Knox's brother. It might not be. No, actually, you know what's crazy? I think, no, I remember Kevin Knox's brother's name was Kobe. I don't know if there's another brother, though. There might be. Why is Zaire Williams expected $10 million? What have you done? Do you have potential? There's a couple of mid badges is a career high of 21 points and he thinks he's gonna get 10 million a year i don't think it's gonna be for me i'll let you know that right now and i usually don't even care about the money i give out because i can know i can just eventually just traded players but like golly 10 million i'm about to try and steal jalen johnson from the uh hall if they uh match this offer right here give him all the bag like he'd be the first valuable backup to uh to jaron jackson he's gonna be my only signing in day one i can renounce steven adams rights because nobody that nobody in is gonna sign steven adams and they didn't they didn't uh contour offer it so that's good hey steven adams come back and take this uh minimum contract you know what take take a you're gonna be a grizzly for life no bird option why does a swar thompson always fall to free agency oh man 92 drama dunk i feel like ja and a swar thompson would have a fun time just dunking in the uh, basketball dang he's got a custom contract i don't even know what this is about but i'll offer it i don't even know if this is gonna work oh we don't have enough money for him that is tough i guess some other team will reap the benefits dang it now he wants 14 million dollars what happened to all that oh man we need to get rid of a player before the season starts uh and i knew this was gonna happen he'll understand it man oh Oh, wait, I can't even. Hey, Steven Adams, you know what? Wait, Zaire Williams is here? What? I did not want this man. Oh, my God. You know what? No. Nope. How, how does he have a three-year deal? No. No. Nope. Look at that. He re-signed after i simulated the period to not re-sign him i didn't want this man back just because of that recently signed restriction turn this garbage off for two seconds zaire smith learn new york ease buddy steven adams he, he really tried to get steven adams off this team i'm so hurt i'll be honest i am so tired of xavier tillman starting at center over zubats i am out of he's gonna just become a power forward because i am so tired of him lebron james 23 time all-star something happened to john morant why is john morant not here what the hell happened to, did i turn it on automatic or something because i mean he missed nine games i think but i mean that's fine he's been drastically less uh, uh, whatever the hell valuable i guess and xavier tillman dog I, honestly i've been wanting to trade you for a minute and let's be honest i'm about to get the most beautiful move you could ever imagine for this team ben simmons cleveland send me ben simmons you could take xavier tillman welcome to the team benjamin simmons to play backup center and also average seven assists a game yep i'm being incredibly serious right now also contract extensions uh Dil oh dylan brooks you're a lifer buddy oh on the minimum deal too give him a two-year minimum he can be in the negatives every year and i'm still gonna resign him what's funny is grizzlies fans probably don't even like him oh wow Z zubat's got injured right on time ben simmons starting center buddy darius garland gets himself a back-to-back -back mvp will he win a back-to-back -back ring i don't know bryce sensible what a name even silas coach of the year i don't even is he still he's probably still on the rockets he probably didn't register yet i don't know amen thompson makes all nba 13 we had nobody on any teams at all second seed yet again 59 wins i think a little bit better than last year rajon rupert is starting what what happened to desmond bain out six to eight weeks how many more weeks now four to six? Oh my god that is awful they got rajon rupert at the two as long as you're okay let me see yeah you're, you're pretty efficient hopefully oh man that's a huge loss though that is terrible on top of that jaron jackson is still kind of injured i don't know what, what from but oh next spasms he'll be all right it says day to day you should be good within two seconds it's the timberwolves this is a pretty light team though we're not worried about them 3-0 and 4-0 thankfully second round the lakers lebron is still there ad is still there and they got max lewis jeremy grant and monte morris first game to us second game to us any chance desmond's back yet uh oh yes he is beautiful to see also ben is starting over zubat i don't know how i feel about that honestly i don't feel very good about it ben i'm gonna move you back to a non-center as well if you keep taking this spot one another game and we are into the conference finals against houston who i've been kind of waiting to play the new kings of the west so so it seemed first game to them second game to them third game to them do we stand any chance at all my god we might be an outdated team i it kind of looks like it on paper and stop starting oh wow i changed to a seven man rotation we actually won the next game another game we're in heavy contention for and we tied up 30 seconds left or they did how do they they still have the basketball 128 128 15 seconds left our season on the line right here right now 
Jalen Green is guarded by uh, Jaron Jackson, which is crazy. We have a near all big man lineup out, which is good for defense. But uh, can, wait, maybe not. I don't. Oh, but Jaron. Oh my God, you are such a fraud, buddy. Buddy, stay on your feet. Oh wow. Speaking of frauds. Oh, Jalen hits the green on the second one, and the third free throw is also green. Two point lead for them with four seconds left. Four seconds. The John ja Morant must have fouled out because Ben Simmons is about to get this basketball. Ben Simmons, he doesn't even know what to do with this. One second left. Jaron, you got to shoot. He didn't even get the shot off. He didn't. We lost. We lost. I don't want to be here. Oh my. I have never seen a point guard get the ball and not go. Yeah, it's time to reinvent some stuff around here, dog. And yep, Ja fouled out, and Desmond Bain broke his nose. Or unless it already was broke. And the Rockets win the ring. Cavaliers got smoked by the Pistons, which is very surprising. Oh my God. The Rockets got a Swart Thompson. That is such a cheat code. Now, now I feel bad. That and they got him for six mil. But he is a free agent, though. I, I am about to go and try. Uh, I'm not going to have the money for him. He's an 84. That would have been game changing for us. DeMar DeRozan retired. Uh, draft. Oh my God. Wait. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. No, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. What the hell? We had the 11th best odds from San Antonio and the fifth best from New York. But look at this. Our oh my god our next pick went back to the knicks because it was protected and the grizz so we would have had the number one and two pick but we got the number one pick from the 11th best odds okay that is game changing though this is the year of cameron boozer he is 1000 percent coming to this team i will not even we, that is literally exactly what we need 1000 percent what we need the perfect player if you've ever watched any of these rebuild videos or simulations you know what cameron boozer is in these simulations he is a dog now i won't lie uh first and foremost i think it's finally time to uh probably break the dylan brooks curse uh it might be about that time i do think we gotta start considering about upgrading over og soon and later all these things can be in consideration i'm about to throw start throwing players into the trade option see what comes up definitely not 35 year old Kawhi. why do they always offer julius and jalen brunson also why do they need steven adams in the deal to do this i was thinking about it earlier too and i honestly think that julius randall like jalen brunson i don't know why they throw him in this as well but julius randall would be a good fit for this team before cameron boozer though now with cameron boozer coming around yeah i don't see the need for it this this is a player that intrigues me a lot i don't know if we could get him in very many ways honestly I i'm just gonna give him his respect if we can't get him but franz wagner i feel like he never does anything because low in these simulations loki they hate paulo paulo never is like i mean i guess he is in this one this is probably one of the best i've ever seen him at but I, I want franz to like cook more you know not not no mid player like how they try to make him out i mean he's putting up good i just mean on a mid team honestly that's all i mean i want to see franz on a championship team how could i do that for you dylan brooks and ben simmons take it or leave it even the ninth pick too okay I don't like that. Hey, Tyus Jones is starting to get pretty go pretty old. Then we got players to replace him. You could have Tyus Jones too. How about it? How, how about it? Oh, come on. Lastly, you could have our 2030 first round pick. Okay, still no. Lastly, you could have Steven Adams. That's the real that okay. I will still give you the exact same deal, but for, but for your pick next year instead. How about it? Okay, not that exactly. I keep I usually I don't talk during these when I don't think they're gonna work, but I feel like this is gonna work. All right, how about no pick at all? There's Dylan Brooks and Ben Simmons for Fron. Still no. And I'll throw in this Grizzlies pick, or I'll throw in Tyus jones come on there you there it is the new starting small four for your team is franz wagner my controller just died i'm gonna need this dude doing a lot next season we need him to fill a role that has been needed to be filled and what's crazy is our bench is already like perfectly set even without uh doing anything else but we have the first pick of the draft we got 13 players on the roster i'm about to draft the 14th right now with mr cameron boozer this is on the clock number one overall he is the undisputed number one guy welcome to the team i feel like i have i don't get him too often don't even i mean i honestly i could have traded i definitely could have traded for another pick but i have this thought in my mind where i hold on to a lot of my role players and i trade them for a star at trade deadline next season like another star whether it's desmond bain going i don't think i'll ever trade jaron jackson after that game seven though all rotation is already set as is i'm gonna make a chess move as well i'm gonna offer d'angelo russell a contract this dude uh jalen hood is good but this will solely be to mess up the rockets matter of fact give him like a little bit more money for like a two-year deal yeah that's smart and then i could trade him for one of them stars i'm talking about he's the best player in free agency as well so i I, hey, perfect. Cook them. Those frauds. Dang, Ja went down overall. Jaron did. Franz did. Bain did. What the hell? What did I do? I feel like this team will do very well even without training for another player. Season number, what is this? Five, four, three, two. Hey, little, little uh, trick that I realized uh, maybe within the past few months for anybody that, uh, so when I started up just now, if you ever doing like a rebuild and you want your rookies to start, they were trying to start Zubots two seconds ago, right? I already had this down as is. I had it at like 40 some, uh, the young to old thing, and they had Zubots starting, but then I put it down even further you know what i'm saying and now they got boozer starting as well with his stupid looking arm tats why why is that why is that you like you would drive a motorcycle around in the uh what's that cow barnyard you like you'd be in barnyard when, when they had that 
one scene near the end with the motorcycle. Why do I remember that? That was Dylan Brooks as well. You stood around. I, I, I got Dylan Brooks a ring. I did my job. And I'm not gonna lie, we're kind of mid right now. Kind of mid. Did something happen? Did Ja get injured? I don't know. A uh, hood got injured, but I mean, is that really killing us? All right, so for the first time ever, I was going through to remove the untouchables from every team to see about making a trade for like a big time star, you know? Jesus, the uh, Pelicans got a lot of them. They have the most yet, but I'm, I, have, I have a team to go back to, right? The Utah Jazz have Donovan Mitchell back alongside Victor and Ingram and Lori Markkinen. Sexton's still there. Wild team. They have Steven Adams in the G League. He agreed to that? Oh, why are they doing that to him? That's insane. After all that talk about training for a star, I'm not going to do it. There is nothing for me to do. I actually, I put together a real strong offer for Zion Williamson. That is the one that I put a real strong offer together for, but all in all, they're not leaving without Ja. So, yeah, we are still having a very mid season, though. You know what? I have nothing else to trade D'Angelo for, and I do not want him on the team. So, I'm trading for Keegan Murray. So, we have a backup, better backup power for it. That's about it. He's also now the sixth man or whatever. Yeah, sure, that works. Hopefully, that changes things because he honestly was not playing good. Okay, John Morant's actually off the all star bench this year. That's refreshing to see. And Alperin Sangoon is here. But we are the fifth seed in the conference right now, which is really disappointing after some of the years we've had. Ja's not even averaging 20 points anymore. Was Franz a, a what's it called? The, you know what I'm saying? Mistake. We not have traded for Mr. Wagner. Also, Keegan Murray's kind of just looking like power forward D'Angelo Russell. And OG and Anobi is shooting under 40% from the field. OG is our only player in the negatives. Ayo. Hey, oh, Guagua. I feel like you made a great contribution early on a few years ago, but it might be over for you. So even if Franz, I don't know if he's a negative or not right now based on how he's playing. But even if he is, well, OG is worse. So. I guess the trade was valuable. Hey, also, Cameron Boozer. I completely forgot about him. Hey, he's playing pretty well. Yeah, he's playing pretty solid. All right, so, you know, DeJounte Murray, a guy you could commonly trade for in 2K. Jalen Brunson, commonly. Anthony Simons as well. Just these guys are always available on the market, right? But what if I told you that Josh Giddy is currently being offered up by the Thunder for this package of Keegan Murray, OG, and an Obi, and Avicii Zubat. My thought process is, well, uh, maybe Sam Presti is like, hey, I see assets, and I don't care about my players. I want the best team. And, well, me personally, I'm thinking the same way. Josh giddy welcome to memphis grizzlies he just dealt one of the better teams actually yeah what, what are they 41 and 14 but i don't know i don't know i don't know what sam presti saw you can't down him right that'll allow josh giddy was a way improved shooter at this point in his career start of the two desmond maybe becomes our scorer a scorer off the bench john morant can uh you know play a little bit more off the ball maybe like you know cut to the basket sometimes and yeah and giddy will put franz wagner in the right places as well i don't know maybe this works out who knows that brings jalen johnson back to the rotation as well as filipowski for the first time also is steven adams still in the g league or did I trade him? Nope, he's in the G. He's in the G I wonder what his stats are. Is he not playing there either? I don't think he really isn't. He is not playing in the G League either. I guess I shouldn't be fully surprised. John Moran, it's time to give you a contract extension. Hey, you wouldn't ring in a while. We, we're into like a little bit of a curse right now, but you could have your extension. And the same thing goes for Desmond Bain. Yep, same for you. Victor won MVP. A Swartan, we could have had this man. He's an 87 overall. I could have, I signed Jalen Johnson. Why? I, I didn't just trade him. I still have him, but whatever. Even Silas, 64 and 18. Not one all NBA player or defensive although all rookie first team Cameron Boozer lost the uh, rookie of the year to Cooper Flag, who averaged 20 and he didn't average 20 54 wins ended up improving after some of those trades to 54 and 28 third best in the conference but still not the best you know and we are down 3-0 in the first round to the San Antonio Spurs oh man what do I expect anymore huh we're just gonna lose yep we got swept we just got swept in the first round can I can I see what their team is Trey Young and company and Bronny. We lost to Bronny. Yep, I got nothing for that. Well, check the playoff stats and see who sucked, and I'm gonna trade him. Franz Wagner, 36%. What happened? What happened to the 50% the from the field? Jalen Hood, under 40%. What happened to you? And after trading with them, the OKC Thunder going to win the championship with our role players all playing. You gotta love it. What happened to Rudy Gobert? Torn right hamstring and he retired. James Harden and LeBron finally retired at 42 years old. Will we ever win a championship again? I'm honestly starting to doubt it. I think it's time to start, you know, re invented a wheel the wheel around here grizzlies we got the 11th pick from the knicks all right i'm trading Jalen johnson in the 11th pick for the 7th and 13th picks i think the only way to get out of this is maybe to potentially draft some good players way better than our league with our seventh pick i'm gonna take james turner jr he seems to be the best player available i don't know if he's actually good or not but we'll see after that i'll take uh, eliza williams there you go two power forwards i'm looking like the suns in 2017 or 16 when they picked um marquise chris and dragon bender chris washington was better than james turner 
Turner, so I might have sold on the pick. But it is what it is, I guess. Kind of need those picks to work. Carter Knox, you have not improved in all the years you've been here. You can get the step in. It's crazy. There's a lot of teams that actually have the money to offer Luka. Because I don't. And I never really aimed for free agency, which might be stupid at this point. And Jalen Hood won $20 million for what? You're going to get it, though, because I need you. We have a new coach, and I didn't even realize it. Honestly, we probably needed one after, after all the disappointments. Oh, my God. His system is grit and grind. They're trying to bring back grit and grind. Grit. Yeah, no. But it's good to know we got a coach with the dog in him. John Morant is back in the All-Star starters. And on top of that, we are 50, 45 and 9, which is the best in the conference currently. Hey, why Cameron moves her off the bench? I don't know what happened to him. Oh, let's get to put him back in right now. But either way. Oh, and Josh Giddy's kind of hurt, but it, it's all good. You'll be all right. This will be neat. This is what we've been needing. John Morant is back to averaging 20 points again. Cameron Booz is entering into his own. We have a, a lot of the best assisting players in, in our top three. Eight, eight assists, seven assists from our center. New Jokic and nine assists from Ja, and so on and so forth. Victor wins MVP. Jamal McKnight, Rookie of the Year. Victor DPOY, Wallace Teague, 66 wins. That is our coach. Wow, we are the best team in the league. First round. Oh. Did something happen? John Morant injured? No. Franz is right there. Franz is a little banged up, but he's played all the games. We are down 3-0. I'm about to end it right now if we don't come back. We came back, and of course... A four two one. Second round. Now we're just gonna lose to them, huh? Down 3 0 again? No way. There's just no there's just no way. What is no? Oh my god. We lost by one. Holy hell. All right, man. Man, oh man. Pelicans win the ring led by VJ Miller. We got no picks. I'm not even gonna make no trades, dog. Just run it back one more year and then I'm done. We have the exact same record at the all-star break this year. That feels like a bad sign. And there he is, our Cameron Boozer, most valuable player. I did not expect it, but it happened. 69 wins and first round wins, second round wins win third round wow game seven and win in the finals 2-0 3-0 thank god oh my we leave out on a win i am done this just felt more tedious like the first year win and then to never win again for how many years five six whatever that is technically i don't know desmond bain shout out to you shout out to cameron boozer for saving the franchise of 22 if i had to guess we'd win like four with him or something or maybe eight i don't know okay. it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun i hope you enjoy it. you've been enjoying rebuild season you know Know what's been going on over here and i'll catch you in the next one you know i'll be genuine uh the channel's about to hit like 700,000 subscribers so yeah to do that maybe i don't know don't control you you know the deal all right see ya Cut.